Hi, I'm Chelsea Evans, a fourth year student at a Coho Couture, and we are showing you Couture Sewing Tips and Secrets. This is how to thread a needle and tie a knot. We'll start with threading one strand of thread through a regular basting needle. Clip the end of your thread sharply on an angle. Make sure that your, th your thread is tightly between your fingers. If it's too far out like it is right now, you have no control over it. So bring it close down. With your right hand, take your needle and push it over the thread rather than pushing your thread into the needle. Hold your strand of thread in your right hand between your index and your thumb. Wrap your thread around your index finger once and roll it off your finger. The more times you roll it here, the bigger a knot you'll have. Then, with either your ring finger or your middle finger, grasp the end of the thread and pull the knot through to the end. Then you have a knot. Now to thread two strands. Always make sure you have two separate strands of thread rather than one long thread folded in half. If it's one long thread, it'll get tangled up. and hold it tightly between your fingers again. You can dampen the threads if you need to, but it can often actually be easier with them dry. Simply push them through the same as if it was one. And tie a knot. Now for threading three threads. Make sure you have three separate threads again. Slice them on an angle and hold them tightly between your fingers. Now for this, it's easiest to focus on one thread at a time, manipulating it into the hole of the needle. Three strands is good for sewing on buttons or buttonholes. Yeah. Force be with you. <laughs> <laughs>